Hello guys, this is Mr. GTA416 here showing you guys how to put your webcam in the top left corner of your screen using Mac software. Now, the reason that um, I, I wanted to figure this out is because I see a lot of videos on YouTube of, you know, video gamers and stuff that make their videos and they put their webcam in the top left corner of their screen or top right corner or wherever and you can see them as they're playing the game and I, I thought that was the coolest thing ever and I wanted to try and do it so for the longest time I went and you know did research on it I actually uh, used Windows uh, up until about a couple like a month or two ago now and I, n I could never figure it out and Windows doesn't really have the software to do this that you know the that with you know I, I don't know, Microsoft gives you sorry Microsoft doesn't really give you software to do this but Apple actually gives you iMovie that comes with your Apple that you can do this very easily and I'm going to show you on in this tutorial on how to do it so first what you want to do is you want to record you know your gameplay with you know your your capture card or whatever your camera whatever and after you're done doing that, I use QuickTime Player to record uh, a screen recording and a movie recording if I do, you know, prop hunt or something. But if I do something like Call of Duty where, you know, involves the Xbox or the PlayStation, I'll do that. I'll move the file over and it's the same concept. So you're going to have two, you're going to have two files here. You're going to have your v webcam video, right, which I used uh, QuickTime here. I used new movie recording to do that because my Apple has a built-in uh, webcam, which all modern computers do, and I have the game recording right here. So what you want to do is you want to open up iMovie, which is located in your applications on your Mac. There's two ways of getting to that. You can click down here, which I think all Macs have, and or you can click in here and go to applications like that. So you want to open up iMovie here, and once iMovie is opened up, it's actually going to load up my previous previous uh, project that I worked on last night my my movie 2 down here in the top uh, bottom right corner but we're gonna open up my movie here and when it opens up here in a second I will show you guys what's uh, what we have to do inside iMovie to kick it off so before actually what I, I completely forgot I apologize but before you open up iMovie I convert my videos and I don't think you don't really have to do this but I do it just to make sure that iMovie accepts both files so what I did was is I went on the App Store and downloaded Smart Converter which is actually free so I went up here to the App Store and downloaded Smart Converter it's called and uh, all I typed in was Video Converter or you know you could type in Smart Converter since you know the name of it and what you do is you drag in each file it only takes a second you drag it in here you click uh, QuickTime Player and you press convert and in about two seconds it'll convert it to just another file it's the same quality same everything but it allows more programs like iMovie to accept the files <laughs> oops no I don't want to cancel it shit did I cancel it open okay did I can did I uh, whoops maybe I didn't convert it my bad my bad guys sorry so I'll convert that real quick. I pressed cancel by accident. When it, you'll see what I meant to press in a minute. Show file is what I meant to press. And once you uh, see show file, you can drag and drop that to your desktop. Delete the first copy of it if you want. I delete the first copy so I don't have two copies of it. Uh, and do the same thing for the, the webcam file you have here, the one that you recorded of yourself. All right, you can see me right there. Convert that real quick, let it convert. Wait for it to get done. Show file. Drag and drop it to your desktop. I use my desktop as like my little little workspace here. I just, you know, if I have a file I want to work on or work with, I drag it to my desktop so I know. And you can see, you know, usually when I, like say, like I was talking to you before, if you record a game and move it, you know, or if you record it off your Mac, which Macs have trouble recording uh, games off the HDPVR, the Elgato, but if you move the file to your Mac and uh, move it to your desktop, move it to your folder, make sure you give it the same name, you know, with a one or something at the end so you know that it goes together with your webcam video because sometimes, you know, I record like maybe four or five videos and then I get lost on which video goes with which webcam. So I like to do that as well. So anyways, after you convert those, now we can go back to iMovie here. Go to library if you're not already in library. Um, this is my previous 
thing here, I'm going to actually delete the entire thing. Um, this is from before, so what I'd like to do is select the entire thing and remove. Uh, move to trash here. Okay. Hit import. Desktop. Now, they are called Untitled 1 and 2. You can't import both at the same time, so we'll import this one first. Take a couple of seconds. Then we can import this one as well. Which one was it? Is it this one or this one? It was this one, right? Okay. Import that one. Now you have both files in here. That is your webcam, and this is my prop hunt video right here. You see. So what you want to do is you want to take the gameplay video and uh, select the entire thing. There's a couple of ways of doing that. You can select it and keep dragging to the right, and it'll just keep selecting the entire thing or press shift and click somewhere uh, is it at the bottom I I'm, I'm don't think it's click right there there we go now I'll select the entire thing I was a little mixed up you can go to the bottom of the clip and press shift and click it'll select the entire clip here drag that into your timeline down there and you have the the video down there all loaded up it loads right away it's not like Camtasia or anything where it takes forever to load uh, next you want to select your your web webcam video here and I select a little bit at the top go down to the bottom press shift and click and it selects the entire thing for me make sure it selected the whole thing drag that above the gameplay video all right above it a uh, little load and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down by trimming I just drag this to the left here and it trims it so it's even with the web webcam video all right so now you have this right here. You have your webcam video on top and you have your gameplay video on the bottom. You want to select this one by highlighting it in yellow but just clicking it once. Come up here, uh, adjust. You want to go to this little uh, video overlaying settings right here. Cut away, you'll see right here. You want to do, so uh, I think it's sub. Uh, maybe, no, it's picture in picture. There we go. Picture in picture. Drag that up to the top right. Drag it down a little bit so you can see yourself. And you have your own little gameplay of you uh, talking while you're playing, and you can see yourself while you're playing. It's a very, very cool effect, and I'm going to be applying that to all of my videos in the future. So stay tuned to my channel for more of these uh, gameplays, like this one you see me here playing Prop Hunt. You'll be seeing this on my channel very soon. I am the little baby there running around, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to save it uh, once you're all done with your project. So once you've edited it and you know you and pretty much, you want to come up here to share, file, name it. I like to name my DTA something, something, there we go. Uh, next, and desktop and save, and I'm actually not going to click save because I don't want to save it right now. But once it saves, all right, I'll show you. You come, it'll save it, but you have to come to your theater here. It'll add a, uh, a file in here, and you can see both my projects. I don't even know how to delete these. Yeah, delete everywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. So it'll save in here, and then you'll get a little progress bar in here. It's kind of hard to visualize, but you'll see it when you save it. And it'll save it to your desktop. Once that progress bar is done, you just got to give it a little bit. It won't, look, it won't look like it's doing anything until about... 30 not even 30 minutes like 20 minutes uh, after you're done so just give it a couple minutes and once it's all done you'll be able to watch it and you'll be all happy so once again thank you guys for watching i'm mr dta416 if you've enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content peace